Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay Factor Theorem. Connected pa rin ito sa Synthetic Division at Remainder Theorem. Kaya kung hindi mo pa napapanood yun, panoorin mo na muna. Click mo na lang yung I sa taas. Sa so Factor Theorem, kapag 0 ang remainder, ibig sabihin lang nun, ang divisor ay factor ng dividend. So ngayon, kung natatandaan nyo pa, paano nga natin isolve ang remainder? Tama, pwede natin gamitin ang synthetic division at ang pag-substitute sa value ng x sa dividend natin. Pero syempre, since remainder lang naman ang kailangan nating malaman, isubstitute na lang natin ang value ng x na makukuha natin sa dividend natin. For example, determine whether x minus 4 is a factor of each polynomial. A. x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. B. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. So, sila yung dividend natin. At ang divisor natin is x minus 4. So, equate na natin siya sa 0. So, x minus 4 is equal to 0. Add tayo both sides ng 4. So, cancel na natin to. And x is equal to 4. So, unahin natin dito yung letter A. I-substitute lang natin yung value ng x para makuha natin yung remainder. So, 4 cubed minus 2 times 4 squared minus 11 times 4 plus... 12. So, isimplify natin. 4 cube is 64. 4 squared is 16 times negative 2 is negative 32. Negative 11 times 4 is negative 44. Then, copy lang natin. Plus 12. So, i-combine lang natin. 64 minus 32. Ano kayong sagot? Solve nyo nga. Equals 32. And negative 44 plus 12 is equal to negative 32. So 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 4 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. So, ganun lang yun na kapag 0 ang remainder. Sa letter B naman tayo, substitute lang ulit natin yung value ng x sa polynomial natin na 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. Substitute lang ulit natin yung 4 ha, para makuha ulit natin yung remainder. Kung 0 ba o hindi. So, 2 times 4 cube plus 4 squared minus 2 times 4. Teka lang, parang 14. Pahiin natin. minus 15. So, isimplify natin. 4 cube is 64 times 2 is 128. 4 squared is 16. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Bring down lang natin, minus 15. So, combine natin. 128 plus 16 is 144. Negative 8 minus 15 is negative 23. 
144 minus 23 is 121. So, 121 yung remainder natin. Therefore, x minus 4 is not a factor of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. Ulitin ko ha, kapag 0 ang makukuha nyo sa remainder, ibig sabihin lang nun, factor yung divisor ng dividend. Kapag hindi 0 ang nakuha nyo sa remainder, ibig sabihin lang nun, yung divisor ay hindi factor ng dividend. Gets mo na ba? Sige nga, ilike mo and subscribe. Dali na. Salamat! Since wala pa tayong 8 minutes, isa pa tayong example. Find k so that x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed plus kx squared minus 8x plus 3. Analyze nating mabuti ha. Sinabi na dito na ang x plus 3 ay factor ng 2x cubed plus kx squared minus 8x plus 3. Pero, wala pa yung value ng k. At yun ang hahanapin natin. So, equate na natin sa 0 ang x plus 3. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtract tayo both sides ng 3. Cancel na natin to And x is equal to negative 3. So, isubstitute lang natin ang value ng x dito sa polynomial natin. At equal lang natin siya sa 0 dahil sinabi na ang x plus 3 ay factor ng polynomial natin. Gets? Very good. So, 2 times negative 3 cubed plus k times negative 3 squared minus 8 times negative 3 plus 3 equals 0. Simplify lang natin. Negative 3 cubed is negative 27 times 2 is equal to negative 54. Negative 3 squared is 9 times k is positive 9k. Negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. Copy lang natin yung plus 3 equals 0. So, i-combine lang natin yung negative 54, 24 at 3. I-bring down muna natin yung 9k. So, negative 54 plus 24 is negative 30 plus 3 is equal to negative 27 is equal to 0. Add tayo both sides ng 27. So, cancel natin ito. 9k is equal to 27. Divide tayo both sides ng 9. 9k divided by 9 is k. I-cancel na lang natin yung 9. Is equal to 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. k is equal to 3 at yan yung sagot natin. Sana may naintindihan kayo sa factor theorem natin at makapasa kayo sa mga darating na exams na ibibigay ng teacher nyo. So yun lang. Bye-bye!